All right, we got leaky tires. We got leaky oil. Oh God, what are we gonna do with this thing? All right, everybody, what is up? What is up, as always? Thanks for stopping by to another video today. We have kind of some crazy stuff going on with the Harley Sportster now. <laughs> so, as you guys have known for a little while, I patched up my tire just about last July, and it's been pretty good for now. Like, it's been, uh, now it's like April, so put almost like 3,000 miles on the plug tire and it's been okay but lately i've just noticed that it's finally starting to like just constantly leak a little bit it's always like half the psi that it should be i'm always having to put air in it and so it is finally time to go ahead and get our new tires on this thing we're going to take this thing to the shop today i'm going to get these new tires put on these are shinko 777s so we're getting ready to head out to the shop go ahead have the mechanic throw these things on but there's also some other concerning stuff going on with the sportster right now i noticed the other day that we have a leak right here which appears to be a leak coming through this i think is an oil line i'm no mechanic i don't know what i'm talking about we've got the oil tank right here and i don't know there's just like a sliver there's actually a couple little slivers in here i don't know if you guys can see them if it'll come through on camera but this thing is definitely leaking you can see it on my finger there's oil coming out of here the bike i pulled it over just a few minutes ago and it's been sitting here for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and you can already see oil spots leaking on the ground so that is something we definitely have to get fixed up here so like i said i noticed this a few days ago i had been putting off getting into the shop just out of i guess i don't know laziness <laughs> but this is like the big motivator we finally got to get those tires on we got to get this line looked at i don't know let me know what you guys think this is you can i mean let me get up here closer i mean there's definitely like some cracked lines here this so this is rubber I don't know if there's something leaking out of this one too. These ones look good. I don't know if it's just kind of like corroded or just cracked here from temperatures or what, but we have to get this looked at. I did check the oil. I mean, there is enough to get us out there about 10, 12 miles to the shop, but I mean, that's a little concerning. Like I said, bike is about four years old. I mean, I don't know if this is normal, if this has happened to other people. Let me know down in the comments what you think happened here with this cracked line. It's got oil coming out of it. We're going to get up to the shop, get it fixed. But also not the only interesting stuff we got going on here. We got the two tires. I have nobody out there to follow me with these tires to take them for me. So we're going to figure out how to put these tires on the back of the bike. So let's see how that works out. So I think these might be good to go. If we can bungee them on here, let's throw the first one up and over. All right, so what do we think about that? I think maybe I'll be sitting here. Oh, that's definitely not gonna work. All right, so let's put the rear one there. Let's go ahead and see how the front tire goes. <laughs> I literally have no idea what I'm doing here. Let's see what we can do with a bungee. Okay, how about, how about, what if we do that? Take a bungee from the other side. How's that? I don't know. Is this moving anywhere, guys? <laughs> I think it might be good. I don't know, what else could we do here? There we go, it looks tight to me. How about that, three bungee cords, sissy bar. Seems tight, I don't think that's going anywhere. So we've got room for my butt here, that's the main thing. <laughs> Hop on this thing, see how it goes. Alrighty, let's fire it up and get out to the shop. All right, 
right guys so we are on the bike now on the road to the shop and I wish I had somebody else riding with me that was also filming because if you guys could see this right now oh come on old buddy old pal get, get across the street here but anyways if you guys could see the way that I look on this bike right now so you saw the way that I strapped up those tires I have not a lot of seat space left I guess I would say so yeah we got the tires on the back and I am just like I'm I'm like sitting on the tank right now <laughs> not the uh, not the most comfortable experience of a ride right now but you got to do what you got to do <laughs> I honestly feel like I'm on like a little scooter right now like a <laughs> But anyways, so I'm excited to get these tires on. Like I said, these are the Shinko 777 style tires. I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I chose those and uh, why I gotta get new tires anyways. So like I mentioned, I already said it before, you guys know I had that plug in my rear tire. I put about 3,000 miles on it. I did that like last July and I actually got these tires that I have on the back seat right now. Like shortly after that with intentions of like swapping them out pretty quick but then i did get the street bob and i was like i don't know like i just got lazy and just wait till next year i actually have a shinko on the back because the rear tire that was back there had worn out and the only reason i'm replacing the front really is i mean it's got a lot of treads still on it but it's a four-year-old tire i was like if i'm going to take it in for the rear we might as well swap out the back get those totally freshened up so let me know what kind of tires you guys are running out there. Let me know what your favorite tires are to put on your Sportster or any bike, really. I'll tell you, the reason why I got these Shinko 777s is I know they're not going to be necessarily like the best performance tire or the longest longevity tire. But basically the reason I got them, I mean, it was the price point. Like, I got these off of Revzilla. The front tire, I believe, was honestly like, I don't know, I can't even remember at this point, like 65, 70 bucks. And the rear tire, I want to say, was uh, 150, no, 125, 150, somewhere around there. So, I mean, I got, I got two tires for, you know, add in shipping, whatever it is, is they ship it to me. I think I got these two tires for. A little over 200 bucks and now yeah some people say you know they want the best tires out there all this and that but the way that i view the sportster right now and especially now having the street bob is if these aren't the most longest lasting tires or the most performance tires that's fine by me because you know i'm not gonna be doing a lot of long road trips on the sportster anymore i'm not gonna be putting as many miles on it as i used to and honestly a lot of the reviews that i read on these tires were kind of said that like they're actually a pretty good tire. They're not gonna break the bank. They're gonna do everything you need them to. You know, they're gonna have decent life to them. So I was like, you know what? A lot of that information was from Brazil themselves. So, I mean, I usually trust them as a source of info, but let me just go with these Shinkos, not break the bank. I'm sure they're gonna be fine. I can't wait to get them on there. Because like I said, it's been a little sketchy this whole time with this plugged rear tire in the back. I, I never know if it's like, leaking going flat i've had to keep putting air in it and just overall you know the front tire is four years old and whatever's going on with the rear one it's got it plugged obviously but i don't know i mean they just feel like they got soft i don't know i just haven't really been like trusting them that much i don't know if anybody's ever experienced that with their tires like as they aged like i'm not saying they were slipping there was still tread on them and everything but i don't know if it was just in my head but for some reason they just felt like just felt like the tread wasn't there it wasn't gripping to the ground perfect let me know if anybody out there has ever kind of had that feeling with some of their aging tires like i don't know at some point i just kind of like i think because it was plugged i just kind of like lost a little confidence like going into some turns and stuff i don't know if that was just in my head or if i was actually feeling you know something with the traction and everything i have no idea so anyways like i said we also got that little oil issue too we got a little like corroding within those lines or like i don't know those little cracks in those lines kind of has me freaked out as well so we're gonna get that all fixed up of course so not to mention all the other stuff like i mean the like i said the bike's gonna be here we're gonna do the tires get the oil looked at we're gonna change out all the fluids have them get this thing you know all ready for the rest of the year all ready for spring 
hopefully nothing else pops up that we got to do with it the other thing i'm going to have him look at too is with the clutch so if you guys remember about the same time last year i took it out here to riverside cycles just outside maniac and also on that note man this guy he is awesome he's quick he knows his stuff if anybody's in the philly area make sure you go drop your bike off at to john at riverside cycles this guy i mean he's pushing bikes in and out all the time he's, he he gets these things done quick awesome service but anyways we had the spring plate go bad in the clutch last year around this time or the grenade plate whatever you call it so he went in there changed that out the different clutch pack removed it and i don't know if this is a product of that it wasn't happening initially it just started happening recently but the clutch has been doing like a little chirping noise like like if i do a little bit more of a spirited takeoff a little bit quicker takeoff it's making like a chirping noise and i don't know you know what that has to do with anything i'll probably have him look at that too it doesn't seem like anything is wrong with it it just seems to be making uh, that noise but we'll find out about that as well all right so we're getting closer to the shop closer to the destination i have chatted and rambled on enough here let's check in we pull in make sure these tires stayed nice and tight on the back seat there we'll check in with you when we get to the shop and drop this thing off all righty here we go riverside cycles Ooh. all righty let's go ahead and pull this thing in here take a look i think the tires are still there all right as you can see tires made it we're gonna get this thing dropped off we will check back in with you when we got those new tires on see how we like them give you the first impressions Alrighty, so we are back on the harley sportster iron 1200 we have got all of our work done we've got our new tires on here and they feel pretty good to start feels a little more agile stuff like that but let's go ahead and pull over into this lot here Alrighty, so let's just take a look at what we got going on here. We got the tires on the back, rear and front. The, again, these are the Shinko 777 tires. Looks pretty good. Looking pretty good with the tread and everything. Obviously brand new. It's going to give you kind of that new fresh tread tire look. Better than kind of that little bit of that old worn out look there. So over here is the tube that we've got replaced and this is the one right here that's where it was just like cut or corroded or cracked or something had them take that out changed out all the fluids all that good stuff so seems like it should be good to go now we're going to keep an eye on this he flushed it all out checked everything cleaned up where some of that oil was leaking out so i think we should be good to go with that leak we are good to go with the tires here i'll be excited to get some more miles on the tires see how they go long term maybe i'll have to check in with you guys a little bit after we actually put some real miles on here get this get these things broken in a little bit just hopping on for a little bit so far they do feel a little bit maybe like more rounded so i don't know make it a little more agile possibly make it a little bit more easy to lean over with a little bit more of a rounded shape to it and then i guess maybe if you had like a little bit of a thicker design or a wider design to it possibly so like i said be interested to see how these work out long term so like i said not too much to say on the tires just yet obviously we're going to get these things broken we'll probably check in a little bit later on not too much to say about them now other than just kind of looks and a quick feel down the road but we got the sportster back now we should be good to go for a while now we got new tires fresh fluids we got a leak sealed up we got all tuned up ready to go so again huge shout out to john at riverside cycles i'm not gonna lie this is literally the next day he turned this thing around in 24 hours so <laughs> i mean you can't ask for much more better service than that i mean took it up there dropped it off yesterday it's the next day now he's got this thing back to me went out and picked it up already so he did that another time previously when i got my clutch fixed he turned that thing around another 24 hours got the part fixed it up called me up so we're good to go so that's definitely my go-to spot here in philadelphia make sure you check out riverside cycles for any of your work if you're in the area but other than that that is going to wrap this one up for now as always thanks for stopping by to check out this video make sure you go ahead and like this video drop a comment down there let me know what you think the tires 
Let me know if that leak has ever happened to you before. And as always, make sure you ride safe out there. It's the Moto John. We'll see y'all on down the road. Peace.